Also breaking overnight new this morning, a rocket test launch failure at Vandenberg Space Force Base. That's right. It exploded just seconds after takeoff, sparking a fire. Our Keith Carls is live outside of the base with what we know so far this morning. Good morning, Keith. Yeah, well, we're slowly learning more, uh, Elise and Joe. Uh, we can tell you that this was a, a, a Minutar 2 plus rocket launch, uh, test launch, uh, that took place uh, just after 11 o'clock last night out at Vandenberg Space Forest Space here behind me. Uh, and 10 seconds, uh, or about 10 seconds into the launch, uh, the rocket exploded. Now the Minutar 2 uh, Plus apparently carries uh, some type of missile type projectile as well. Uh, and so we're being told by Vandenberg um, that there were no injuries in this ex explosion last night uh, and that the debris was contained to immediate vicinity of the launch pad, which is launch pad number one. Uh, the, in a statement released by the base early this morning, uh, basically the vice uh, a vice commander says uh, we always have emergency response teams on standby prior to every launch and safety is our priority at all times. Uh, the Vandenberg Space Force Base Fire Department was on scene to put that fire out that uh, was ignited by the explosion. Uh, but smoke uh, from uh, that uh, fire uh, ex and explosion scene uh, drifted into the Lompoc Valley here uh, and also into the Santa Maria Valley and that caused a lot of concern uh, um, from local residents. Uh, we can tell you that uh, Vandenberg says an investigative review board has been established to determine the cause of the explosion. Uh, the, the other things that we know about the Minutar 2 Plus program is it's intended to replace the uh, um, uh, decades-old Minuteman 3 uh, ICBM program and and they're, they're calling it the Sentinel program um, and so this was a, a test launch for that program obviously a major setback and so uh, the good news is is that nobody was hurt uh, the fire has been put out um, but it did uh, it did uh, leave uh, quite a bit of smoke uh, drifting into the Lompoc Valley here where I'm at in Vandenberg Village reporting live this morning uh, in Vandenberg Village I'm News Channel reporter Keith Carl's Joan Elise, I'll send it back to you.